coming in hot. Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. And yeah, I'm going to produce the assembly drawing of this working arm assembly. Now I have been given two sections, section BC and section XY. Alright, so let's start by drawing section XY. Now for section XY, we know that since the cutting plane is on the plan, the front elevation are going to draw. Alright, so the front elevation, we are going to draw all this but without the short dash is in it. We have already done this in the previous video, so I'm just going to rush over this quickly. The first circle has a diameter of 82, so radius of 41. So that's what I'm drawing. Next, I'm going to measure 12 from both sides, as you did for the previous one. 12. Twelve. Then I'll project this to the side and to the top. Then to the top. Next, this one has a radius of 58. I'm going to measure that one to and draw. Then it's only for this part and this part. Next, I'm going to measure 75. Now 75. Then I'll draw another one. Next, 12 and 3. So, 12. So that's my 12. And that's my 3. Next, I'm giving the stance to be 76. Seventy-six here. Seventy-six. Yeah. Going to project it upwards. I'll place a link in the description for the previous one. In case you get a bit confused. Alright. 
all right so let's see this tangent line in this line let's see let's draw this line Not around to here. And this one goes into this side, so let's wait and see. Then you have this one here, which has been given to us as a diameter of 10. So I'm going to measure 5 from both sides. And draw a vertical line. Okay. Alright, so next year, I'm mean, giving that the distance between them is one root two. So meaning the radius or half half of it to be 51 on both sides you have to get the center so let's measure 51 so this is 51 here and this another 51 here so i'm going to draw center lines through it Then another one to here. Right. Next, I mean, given that the diameter here is 38, so 38 divided by 2 is 19. So I'm going to measure 19 from both sides here. So the 19. I think we shall measure it here rather. Right. Next, there are fillets here having a radius of 3 since you have already measured the vertical we can just measure the horizontal and get that 3 to the join with the smooth curve so that's the first one second one first one second one so I'm going to join with a smooth curve So let's take it out this one. Alright, so next we have this smaller diameter here that have been projected to this one. So a diameter of 20. So 10 from each side. Now mind because you are drawing the section view, there are no short dashes or no hidden details. All lines are continuous thick. I'm going to draw
Alright, so let's finish up with the fillets that are also here for the web. So distance of three. Uh, distance of three zero two. Right, so it comes this way. Now let me just stick in the part that I need here. Alright, so next I'm going to project these lines in order to get the next view. So let's see. Let me send this one here. Then send this one to the. Then send this to. to Alright, so at this point, so I'm going to draw a vertical line here again, and that's going to be our reference point for the end view. Right, now this distance has been given to us here as 125, so this 30. So, first, let's measure 125. So half of 125 will be 62.5 on both sides. Which measure 62.5 on both sides. Then I'll draw a vertical line to this point. Then another one here to this point. Yes, I'm going to draw the 30 degrees for the web over here. 30 degrees. Then it goes up. It's going to draw 30 degrees. Then another one to here, 30 degrees. Right. Now the weight of it I'm giving to us are 64. So half of 64 is 32. It measure 32 from both sides. Then I'll draw vertical lines. Same thing to here. This one has to come down. Intersect. Now the inner compartment here has a diameter of 38. So I'm going to measure 38, but there's going to be 19 on both sides. So 19 on both sides. going to draw vertical lines
Let me take out there. Now, these lines end here, and this one continues to the side. So, this is going to end here. So, I'm going to end this one here. In this one here. And this one continues to the top. Right, so next, let's measure out the web here. That's 10 at this side. So we need 5, 5. Then we are going to project it to this distance, to this one. Next, I mean, given that the distance between these two center lines, there's another one here to be 76, so we need 38 on both sides. So let's measure 38 on both sides and draw the one too. We have our center line. Next, I'm going to draw the web which has a, a, a diameter of 38, so a radius of 19. I'm going to mark. mark here. I'm going to coincide with this. And this. 20, 19. I'm sorry, this. this. Next, I'm going to measure three from this side too. And another three from this side. Now this part too, we measure three two from this side. This side will coincide with this. This will coincide with this. this will coincide with this. Then finally, this will coincide with this. Next, let's measure the three and draw the fillets too for this one. So we know we are done. So three is here. Three is also here. So like this. And like this. Then let's join them. Now the next fillet I'm going to do is the ones here, 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 and here. So three from both sides. Yeah. 
they do for this egg to then coming down here from here here from here here from here Here from here. You just join. We delete that. Then this one. Alright, so now standard for us is to just take in this one, then we start adding the components to it. This is also thick. Alright, so let me clean this one out a bit so it doesn't confuse us all right so now let's add the component now we're going to fit in the various components together now we have this arm um, and it has a side of 36 but then we also have this side of 38 so then this part can fit in here. Now this bushing too has a diameter of 35. And this also has a diameter of 35. So this bushing can fit in here. And this arm and this arm can also fit in here. For it to to for it to form a complete assembly. So you are going to draw this inside here. And draw this two inside this. Alright, so let's start. Now this has has a diameter of 35 and a, a size of 36 so it's going to fit into this part so let's start 35 so half of 35 will be 17.5 going to measure 17.5 from both sides This is the center line we are working with. Ah. Let me highlight it again. So 17.5 from both sides. And thirty five. I'm going to draw horizontal lines. Yeah, and I'm going to. Yeah. All right, so we have we have a bushing in here. Now we have to add the arm. That will follow suit. Now the arm has a diameter of 48, so a radius. So meaning this from this part to this part is 48. So half of it is going to be 24. So let's measure 24 to from this side to get a 48. So 24 here 
48 coincides with this one. So you have this one too. Then we draw another horizontal line. Next, I'm giving that the height from here to here is 125. I'm going to measure 125. I hope it will fit. Alright, so that's 125. Yeah, I'm giving that the, the thickness is 12, so meaning 6 on each side. So let's measure 6 on each side. Then we go vertical lines. Now at this point, let's let's do the center line, so we know that's where it ends. Alright, next, I'm giving that the diameter here is 32, so when the radius is 16, it's the second one too, the diameter is 20, so the radius is 10. So I'm going to measure 16. And then, so I'll extend this line. So this for the sixteen. The next one is for the. Next one is for ten. So both sides sixteen thirty two. And I'll draw horizontal lines to them. Next, they have a distance of 25, so let's measure the one too. So that'll be 12.5 on both sides. Your vertical lines. Now this one, this this part have fillets. This part have fillets. You're going to measure three from both sides as usual. Alright, 
Alright, so you have measured 3 from here, 3 from here. Same thing, 3, 3. So you join your free hand. Right, and at this base to same thing, three, three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you join with your free hand. So you this part is not going to be there. Alright, so at this point, we have successfully inserted the arm into the left hand elevation. Now, let's now insert it into the front elevation. So, we are going to draw this inside here. So, this has a diameter of 48. This one has a diameter of 35. So, diameter of 48 will give us a radius of 24. I'm going to measure out 24. The radius of 24. I'm going to draw this one. Next, with the diameter of 35, the radius is going to be 35 divided by 2. That will be 17.5. I'm going to draw that one too. 17.5 same point 17.5 Now, the, the bushing has an inner diameter of 28, so a radius of 14. I'm going to measure out 14. Then I'll draw. Alright, so right now, we have this to be our bushing. And this to be this outer part. So now let's continue. This has a thickness of 24, so 12 on both sides. But you have already measured from here to here to be 12. So you can measure this one to addition 12. Then we will draw. We we'll draw a vertical line straight. This time a bit. We extend this one too. So right now we are at this point now. So this this center line would have to be brought here too. So we have this to be the center line. We we'll extend this one to to get the center. Alright, so we have this intersection coming. This intersection coming. And it's going to meet here. Right. 
Now this has a outer diameter of 32 meaning radius of 16 and this has an outer diameter of 20. So you're going to open to 16. Or since you have already measured from here, we can just turn the air. Get this, it will be the same as this. And that will be our first 16. Oh. Now for the next one, stand here, get this distance, it will be 16, the first one we do was for the 10, to be the same, then draw. So now I have drawn this 16 and this 32. Sorry, this is this 32 and this 20 over here. Alright, so we have successfully placed this inside here. Let me dip in this one. Alright, so next, the last component you have to insert is this one. And it's going to fit in this way. Now, this has a diameter of 45. So let's draw that one. The diameter of 45 will give us a radius of 22.5. So if I'm going to measure 22.5 from this side. That's first one and the second. One. So now I'm going to draw horizontal lines. Right. Next, we have been given that the distance from here to here is 105, and from here to here is 90. So this distance is going to be 105 minus 90 and that will give us 15 so this is 15 so let's measure out 15 here and 15 and that's 15 to join Now we have drawn this part. Now this part has a diameter of 28, so mean a radius of 14. So from this side, we're going to measure 14. to draw vertical lines from this point now for this distance here is 90 here is 40 so meaning here is supposed to be 50 so let's measure out 50 starting from here 
So that's about here. So it ends here. We are moving on. Now, this one has a diameter. Sorry, M22 mean a diameter of 22. Starting from here, so I'm going to measure 11 from here. 11, 11. 11 here. 11 here. Are you sure that the center? Let me confirm. Next, so the tip is 40, and then it goes in a distance of 10 first. So that 10 starts from here and end here. Then we draw a vertical line to here. Then now goes in thirty. Going to measure thirty. Thirty here too. Then draw a vertical line. Now, this boot has a radius of 3, so let's do the same thing too for it. So, 3 from both sides. Then, 300. Yeah. Oh my apologies, I think the camera went off without me noticing. Alright, so what, what we just continued to do was to finish off with this pin. And that's what you have done here. Alright, so next I'm going to section it. Then you draw the value and then we are done. Alright, so, but before you section, I'm going to measure 15. Uh, okay, that's 15. It's turned here and fiber now. It's turned here and draw this. Then I'll draw a vertical line to link them. Alright, so we are done with everything. So let's start the section. Then we do the the balloon when we are done. Now the sectioning. This is one material, so it's going to go in one direction. So let's see. So it starts from. Starts from here. So. I'm going to start sectioning this. Then this side too.
Let's move up. I'm going to pause the video and finish with that one quickly. Uh, so we are done with this. Now the next part is the body. Body is sorry. This part. This is a web, so you need a section. Then this part. Then here. I'm going to go in the opposite direction. This part too. Uh, so yeah, we are done sectioning the body. Now what is left is the bushing. Which has also go in the opposite direction, but then smaller interval. This this wouldn't be section because it cuts through longitudinally. Alright, so we have this to be the assembly joint. Now let's do the balloon. The balloon. Let me clean this excess lines. So I'm going to label this. Then I'll label this one too. Then the pin. This one too. Then the main body. This one too. I'm going to draw circles. Alright, I'm going to use a radius of 10 for all. You can choose whichever radius you want to use. But I'm just using a radius of 10. And that's quite big. I think the radius of 10 is too big. Let's let's reduce it. 
let me try six or five or seven i think this is okay this one is smaller all right that's smaller so that's the first one Right, so the body is going to be part number one, part number two, this will part number three, and part number four. Now let's draw, let's draw the middle of materials. So now let me draw this. Now measure. going to use how many parts you have one two three four four parts so you have one two three four then one for the header then i'm going to draw horizontal line straight The first column is going to be the part number. Second column, the part name. Then third, the number required. So now let's let's fill it out. So this part number. So we have one, two, three, and four. I have part name. Now for the name for one, one is giving us the bees. Two is giving us the arm. Three is given to us as the bush. Then finally, four is the far pin. Now, this will be the number of or number required. It's going to be one for this, one for this, one for this. Right. So this would be the bill of material table or standard table. So this is the assembly we have realized. Alright, so this is the final thing. So you can choose to section the front elevation to in addition. It all depends on you. So that's the assembly drawing for the working arm assembly. Together with the balloons and the build of materials. Thank you. See you next on our next tutorial.